So the first thing we're going to do is back up a folder so that way you can keep all of your current filters that you have and you can also wait to do this into the last moment so that way you can continue to collect filters. To do this you're going to want to have File Explorer open then go over to this drop down here in the top left find this icon usually next to your username. Once in here you'll have to find this folder. If you cannot find it you more than likely have to just go over to the view tab and click this here until there's a check mark in it. Once that check mark is visible, you'll be able to see hidden files. And since the hidden files are viewable, you should be able to see this app data folder. Click on it. Also go inside and click on local and find a folder named snap. Now control and drag click this over to your desktop. Once that's done copying, you can rename it to the backup. So snap backup is what I'm going to call it. And then once I'm done with that, I'm just going to drag that over to my documents. So that way it's not on my desktop anymore. And I'll just always have it here. There we go. There it is in my uh, documents. So what we are going to do now is go to where Snap Camera is installed and then we are going to move the file outside of its directory so we can reinstall it and then have two copies of the installation. So here you can see I moved it out and it's now outside of my program files that I usually have it. And I'm going to move over the installation and we're going to install it. Yeah, as you can see me installing everything here And when this is done, I will have a snap camera inside of program files and outside of program files. This way I can modify one and keep the original of the other. And I'm not going to launch it, but I'm going to show you guys that I have both of them. So here's the one snap camera. And here is the other right here. So I can show you, it's still launched. This is the one we just installed. Um, I'm going to launch the executable. So now what we're going to do is go to the GitHub page that has a website link. And this website link will take us to a page that can modify an executable file. So that way you can have the modified version of a snap camera. So I already have the GitHub link in my clipboard, so I'm just going to copy paste it. But I'll have this available as well as a fork on my own website. But just down here in the instructions for PC, there's a little brief description, but most importantly, there's the clickable link. So I'm going to right click it and open up in a new tab. And I'm going to use this choose file to find the executable file and the uh, moved version of snap camera that we did. I'm going to rename it to Jaku's snap camera because he is the one that made the uh, github page. And I'm going to select the executable file that's went in there. And then I'm going to go back and find that same executable file and we're going to save this over that one. Yeah, do it anyways. Yes, I want to replace it. And when it's done, we're going to try to run it. And it's going to ask us, or it's going to warn us. But we're going to hit more info and just hit run anyways. So here we go. Here's the warning. More info. Run anyway. So there you have it. That's how we can keep this thing going. And most importantly let's try to get it all done before you know it's shut down because the more filters we use the more filters get backed up so we really need people to download snapcam modify the executable and use a bunch of filters so that way all the filters that we can possibly get get backed up to jacku's server and we can continue all the shenanigans but i hope this helps people find a way to continue the fun with snap camera everything should practically remain the same as when it comes to capturing your camera in OBS or other things 
and um, may, things might get weird. Who knows?